Hey, welcome back to Everyday Dishes. I'm Cheryl Najafi, and you know I'm all about easy, dependable, just get in the kitchen recipes. Roasting an artichoke could not be easier. So I've got five tips to make this super, super fast. You wanna make sure you buy an artichoke that is actually squeaky, because that means it's super fresh. And if you're gonna cut these artichokes up ahead of time, they kind of turn brown on you. So if you wanna cut them up in advance, use a little bit of lemon juice, and that'll keep that from happening. But we're gonna cook these right away. So the first thing you do is you cut off the stem, and what that's going to do is allow this little baby to stand up nice and tall, okay? And then you cut off about the first third of the leaves because they're not edible anyway, and it's going to allow you to do the next step, which is you get your little fingers in there and you open it up. Be careful, they've got little pinchers on the end of their leaves. So you wanna open it up and then that allows you to put a clove of garlic inside, and that's going to infuse flavor in the artichoke. And then now you grab a piece of aluminum foil and you season it. Now, you want to have a dry hand and a wet hand because you need a dry hand to put seasonings on it. So take a little bit of olive oil, about a tablespoon. This is light olive oil, you can use whatever you want. I'm gonna actually do it with my left hand since I'm right-handed. And you're gonna coat the artichoke with the oil. And now you've got a dry hand to add your salt and pepper. Now you're gonna wrap this up, make sure it's super airtight, and you're gonna put it in a baking dish that's lined with either aluminum foil or parchment because if this lets out um, any of the steam, it sometimes turns your pan dark and this just leads for easy cleanup. So you're gonna put this in a really hot oven, 425 degrees, for an hour and 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna show you how to test if they're done. Okay, so we're back and my artichokes are nice and ready. You can't let them cool off because you actually have to open them up. And you see the steam coming out, so be really careful. But you open them up and test for doneness. So you take one of the leaves, and if it pulls right on out of there, it's done. Now I have my artichoke, and what I wanna do is remember that garlic we put in the middle. Well, also in the middle is the thistle part of it that you're not gonna want to eat. So you can take the garlic out and save that because that's really yummy, and then get your spoon and gingerly remove Sometimes they're bright purple, so they're easier to spot. But you're gonna remove that part because it's not good. And you're gonna use your spoon and just take off the fuzzies and you're going to expose the heart. And that is what everyone fights over. So now, it's ready to eat. Put it back together so it looks a little prettier and use any type of dressing you like. You could use ranch, I have a champagne vinaigrette here. I'm gonna put a little bit in my dipping bowl before I serve it, and then I'm also gonna drizzle just a little bit over the artichoke itself. In the beginning, you take those leaves and you wanna scrape your teeth on what's at the bottom. And then once all these leaves are eaten, then it exposes the heart. And now this is the heart of the artichoke, and it is the prize. And so depending on how many people are fighting over it, you just cut it up and divvy it out. Mm. For more tips, tricks, and ideas, I'll see you back at Everyday Dishes. Make sure you like this if you love it. Subscribe to my channel and comment below. And remember, just get in the kitchen.